Hey guys, how are you doing today? So today I'm going to show you how to speed up Windows 7 a lot. So, let's get started. Click start and type in msconfig. This will open up the system configuration window. Go to boot and click advanced options. Check the number of processes and make this the highest number possible. It varies on your computer. Because mine is 2, yours might even be 4. So make it the highest number it could go then come here and change this from 30 seconds to 3 seconds and then click no GUI boot and what this does is it gets rid of that pretty nice looking Windows 7 uh, GUI that like flag logo that st starts up with Windows 7 so this will speed it up just a little bit but if you like some people like that so if you want you could check that but to one less thing Windows has to load. Then go to the Start Up tab and uncheck all the stuff that you don't need. Like I don't need these. And uncheck everything that you don't need. These are all the programs that start up with your computer. So, I mean, you could hit Disable All, but some of them you might want. And then come here. And now, before you go crazy and uncheck a lot of stuff in this, click Hide All Microsoft Processes. And then uncheck the ones that you don't need, but this one you want to be a little bit more, like, know what you're unchecking. You don't want to go crazy and uncheck too many on this. Obviously, don't uncheck your antivirus program. And then when you're done, just hit OK. It will actually restart. Click restart later, and restart after this video is over. So then, uh... T Go to start and type in red edit. And then this opens registry editor. So yours will be like this. So hit H key local machine system current con current control set and don't hit control. Don't hit the drop down arrow. Just hit the folder control. And then come here and click wait to kill double click that and change this value to 2000 yours will be like 12,000 I think and change it to 2000 I kept it at 1000 but recently I heard some computers can't take that so just to be safe put it for 2000 on yours then click start and then go to the computer and right click that and click properties and then click advanced system settings and then what you want to do is you're going to click settings and now this is the appearance okay and if you want it to be really fast click adjust for best performance and click OK and then it will load and then it will be really fast but look this is how it will look so if you want you could click custom and if you want that like regular Windows 7 taskbar click that and choose and it will just be faster but I don't really care too much about speed so I just like the looks too so I'm, I'm not gonna do that and then what you could do is if you really want it to be fast like if you're desperate go to your desktop background and just make it a solid color because then it's like probably a second faster when it loads not that big of a deal and but once it's a solid color like pick any solid color and click save changes it will be faster and uh... you could click sound and click none so over here click no sound and i'm not gonna do that and if you want no screensaver so then, let's say if my computer doesn't have an, enough RAM, also what I could do is if I have a flash drive, I could right click that flash drive, click properties, and to the ready to boost tab, click use this device, but uh, for RAM, and then pick the amount of memory you want to use for from this device, and then click OK, and you could use a flash drive as extra RAM space but then you don't want to like just pull the flash drive out that's extremely bad so when you want to 
done with it, when you want to remove the fast drive, you're going to go to this, click do not use this device, and then, as usual, right click and click eject. Right here. Okay? So now, what we want to do is the temporary file. So, you're going to click this cleanup, search for this cleanup, or you could go to start all programs and accessories. And then go to somewhere here. System tools. This cleanup. Okay, so then it will give all the temporary files. And then check all the ones and delete them because you don't need them. So click OK and it will delete these files. And then what you could do is this defragmenter. You should do this once a month run it I actually did it like I don't know I did it like last month so click analyze and defragment and also when you uninstall a program or sometimes sometimes it leaves stuff behind in the registry so you could go to the CCleaner website and you want to download that and then you could open CCleaner and then click analyze and run and this will speed it up and also go to the registry and it will scan for like missing registry stuff and it will speed your computer up in your registry also you could go to control panel and click programs and if you want you could un uninstall all the programs that you don't need but what we're going to do is turn on and off windows features so it will generate a list of all the Windows features. So this is it. So uncheck the ones that you don't use. Like no one plays the games. And uncheck all the Windows features that you don't really use. Like uh, Windows gadgets, platforms. I mean do you guys really use that anymore? So I mean uncheck the ones that you don't need. Click OK. And then. Uh, and lastly. Uh. I should have done this before. Uh, right click, click personalize, click windows color, and click uncheck the enable transparency. So now this won't be transparent, but it will save you like a second. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Speed up Windows 7.